back to my channel. I hope your week was good. This is me posting consistently. I know you're so surprised right now. Um, get used to it, sister. Okay, I am so excited. I'm always excited, but I've had this video idea for such a long time and I never really like knew how to execute it necessarily. I'm gonna tell you my thought process behind this video. You probably don't care, but just, you know, buckle up enjoy the ride of me talking. I remember in 2013, or I guess 2013, 2014, I've already talked about many times how I was obsessed with Bethany Moda. I loved Bethany Moda so much. I was a motivator, okay? I don't know if anyone watching remembers, but she came out with a clothing line at Aeropostale, 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 I don't know. She came out with a clothing line at Aeropostale and Aeropostale was kind of a dying brand at the time and I feel like she almost like revived the brand. Hi, me editing. So I did more research. Look at this article by Business Insider. Crazy. They just basically talked about how Aeropostale is confirmed a dying brand. Look at those sales. Terrible. That's all. Bye. Like, you know, years went by. She kept doing collections and then finally they just stopped doing collections and now Aeropostale, it's a dying brand. And by the way, if you shop at Aeropostale, like please do not murder me. Um sorry but like okay think about it like no one shops at Aeropostale every time I'm at the mall which is not often because the malls are overwhelming but every time I'm at the mall there's an Aeropostale there it's always like 80% off there's never clothes in there like no one ever goes in there I feel like collectively we can agree that very few people shop there I don't really know what I'm gonna call this video I guess like a brand assessment to see is Aeropostale a dead brand so if you want to find out if it's a dead brand or if it's a cute brand that everyone sleeps on probably not but maybe this will be a plot twist video um keep watching and if you like these videos let me know subscribe if you want you don't have to I don't think me telling you that makes you subscribe, but other people do it, so <laughs> I'm doing it too. For research purposes, um, I placed a hefty order on Black Friday. First, I just want to say um, they were having a 70% off sale, which kind of is a little bit of an indicator that no one really shops there if their clothes are 70% off. Like that's like that's like you're getting close for free. So I saw that and I'm like, hmm, that's probably not a good thing. This order totaled up to be, I think, like $100. Might I add that I also paid like $12 for fast shipping. It still came in like a week and a half. So did I get scammed? I did. Um, so basically, I've had all of this in a box. I just want to quickly go through all of the stuff that I got. Um, I'm gonna, sh I'm not gonna try it on, but I'm gonna show you what I ordered. And then I'm gonna try to style it and see if I can like make a cute outfit out of ugly Aeropostale clothes. Shopping online for this video, I guess for research purposes, I really was looking for trendy things because I feel like to, in order to be a relevant brand, you need to have relevant clothing and like keep up with the trends. So the clothes that I ordered, I made sure that they were like decently trendy and like people wear them. You can judge for yourself if you think this is cute and or relevant. First thing I got is this ribbed dress right here. It's maroon, which is good for fall. And look, it has this like lettuce detail, which is pretty trendy, I would say. Um, I was actually like decently impressed when I saw this on the website. It's really not that bad. But this was originally $50. If this wasn't on sale, I would not pay $50 for this. Like that is insane. I'm gonna try to make a nice outfit out of this. I feel like it won't be that hard because it's really not that ugly. Um, this looks like a rug, okay. Um, once again, trying to keep trends in mind. Everyone knows Teddy coats or Teddy, Sherpa, fake Sherpa, all of the fuzziness, it's super trendy right now. Um, I'm gonna be saying trendy so much, so please just prepare to be annoyed. Basically, it's like this fuzzy, it's really not that bad. Like, would I wear this? Maybe, probably not, but maybe. This was $70. Once again, would I ever spend $70 at Aeropostale on this jacket? I would absolutely not. But I mean, it's soft, it's comfortable. I mean, we'll see later if it's trendy. Oh. The next thing I got is jeans. I have never worn Aeropostale jeans because they kind of scare me. I just wanna add too, when I was shopping for this video for jeans, all of their jeans were so ugly. Like they had like flare jeans, they had like jeggings, which, I don't know, like it's either, you either wear a legging or a jean, like you don't wear them together. Um, the only like cute pair of jeans that they had was this, which is like a stretchy jegging. Um, it has the raw hem at the bottom too, which is trendy. I'm a little bit surprised, not gonna lie. Yeah, these are just jeans, but we're gonna see if they fit well. I got this sweater right here. 
Um, once again, they didn't have any trendy sweaters. The only sweaters that they had were like the cross ones, the ones that cross, I'll put up a picture right here. But like, the, like no one wears those anymore, you know? So I feel like that also contributes to the fact that no one really shops at Aeropostale. They have such an inability to keep up with trends. Kind of hard for me to find this stuff, like hard for me to find stuff that didn't look like it came out of 2013. This is like a chenille pink sweater. Um, it's like a salmon-y color. It's not that bad. It was $60. I'm not trying to be negative too. I'm just trying to be like realistic. It feels really cheap. So would I spend $60 on this? No. Um, but you know, it's not the ugliest thing you've ever seen. I was looking at graphic tees. They still have the arrow ones. Like what? Like no one wears those. I mean, maybe some people wear them. Like, I'm so sorry if I'm being mean. Basically the cutest thing that I could find on their website, the cutest graphic tee. It says, support your local girl gang. Would I wear this? No. I mean, the design of it is not the worst thing I've ever seen. The last thing I got is accessories. I don't know if you've seen, but the Adam Selman times Lespec, like the collab that they did, I'll put up a picture. You've definitely seen them. It's the cat eye glasses. Everyone wears them. So I saw these and they kind of reminded me of those a little bit. I saw this and I'm like, that's kind of trendy. Uh, they're not that bad, you know? Maybe I can make something cute out of this. So now you've seen all the clothing and now I'm gonna put it to the true test and see if I can create some outfits that are popular, trendy, look like they come from Urban Outfitters, look like they're relevant, all of the sorts. If you wanna see my Aeropostale lookbook, just keep watching. Okay, that was stupid. <laughs> For the first outfit, this is the maroon dress that I showed you first. Um, I like it. I try to style it more casually, hence like the scarf with the pop of red and the denim jacket and the sneakers. I like it. I mean, there's really nothing special about the dress though. It's literally just like a layer of fabric. But if we're being real, this outfit, it's not bad at all. The dress isn't bad at all. Sure, it's a little boring, but it's really, it's not that bad. And here's some hashtag trendy mirror pics. I'm gonna give this outfit like a 7.5 out of 10 though. So for this one, this was the fuzzy jacket, the rug looking one. Um, look, this outfit kind of slaps, not gonna lie. I mean, I feel like the jeans are kind of the saving glory of this outfit. I feel like this outfit is definitely trendy with the bag and the jacket. Like I would definitely see some blogger wearing this. Um, I would wear this out to be honest, cause the jacket is cute. Okay, I said it, air pasta clothes, not that bad. I'll give it an eight out of 10. I bought this with the intention of trying to make an outfit out of it, but it's just so bad that I can't, so we're gonna ignore it next. When I first tried on this outfit, I was like, you look like bubblegum, but I actually kind of like it to be honest. I mean, the sweater is pretty plain, it's just a like cable knit sweater, um, but it's not like atrociously ugly. I like it. You know what? I'd probably wear this out. I'm gonna give it a hefty 7.5 out of 10. <laughs> yeah, this isn't even an outfit, and if it is, it's not cute. I just wanted to see if the jeans fit well. They kind of do. They make my butt look flat, and I'm already Caucasian, so I have no butt, so it just, I don't know. I wouldn't repurchase. I mean, they fit fine. They're just nothing special. I don't know. I'm gonna give it like a 5.5. Hi, so I just finished my clothing review portion, I guess. Yeah, I just tried on all the clothes and I'm here to give you the final verdict. Is Aeropostale dead? I don't know, okay? I feel like that's up to your decision. I feel like for the most part, it's pretty dead because like I said 20 times, no one shops there. Here's the thing, like the outfits that I made, they weren't that bad. Like some of the outfits I think that I would actually wear but I feel like for the price of what they're making you pay, it just doesn't make sense that people would wanna shop there. Like that fluffy jacket was like 60 something dollars and like for $60, you could probably buy something at Urban Outfitters, which is like a much more relevant brand, if that makes sense. I just feel like for the price and like what they give you, nothing is special about the brand, you know? So I feel like if they like continue their pattern of like coming out with expensive clothes that aren't cute, then they're probably gonna go bankrupt eventually unless they like rebrand. So that's my opinion on it. You can let me know what you think in the comments. I'm curious to see what you guys think if you think it's a dead brand. If you agree with me, if you disagree, you love Aeropostale, you think it's the cutest thing ever. Um, sorry, this video probably offended you, but I really like doing these like kind of like exploratory, is that the word? Probably not. These like, you know what I mean, like these types of videos. Let me know if you liked it 
and if you have anything to say you can comment it i read all the comments so i'll see it i love you thank you for watching and i will see you next tuesday and or wednesday i don't know somewhere then peace and love <laughs> bye <laughs>